use appropriate items to support the x-axis beam, preventing it from falling down. Unplug the Z-motor cable and remove the screws securing the mounting bracket. Remove the lead screw mounting plate. The POM wheel, isolation pillars, and other items do not need to be taken down. Secure the brass pillars to the left rear plate using M58 screws. Note, the plate with the larger hole is the left rear plate. Fasten the left rear plate in the position of the lead screw mounting plate. Use an M5 self locking nut on the side with the larger hole, and use brass pillars for the other two holes. Loosen the screws that secure the sheet metal on the right side of the Z-axis. Replace the screws securing the POM wheel with M541s, add isolation pillars and the right rear plate, and fasten them together.
loosen the screws of the timing belt adjuster, and secure it to the left C-axis profile using M416 screws. Since there are no holes on the right side profile, use M48 screws along with M40 nuts for securing. Remove the screws securing the upper cross beam, and use M530 screws to attach the left and right upper brackets to the profile. Do not fully tighten the screws for now. Insert the linear shaft into the bearings, and also place the isolating column and synchronous pulley onto the linear shaft together. Tighten the M530 screws. Remove the Z-axis motor and secure it to the upper left bracket using M36 screws. Do not fully tighten the screws for now. Slide the isolation pillars onto the optical axis. Then, place the large and small timing pulleys onto the optical axis and motor shaft, respectively, with the timing belt. Adjust the tension of the timing belt appropriately and tighten the screws securing the motor. Tighten the set screws on the large and small timing pulleys. Hang one end of the timing belt on the back plate, thread it through the timing belt adjuster, and hang the other end on the back plate as well.
Attach the printed components and bearings to the bracket. Adjust the tension of the timing belt. After adjusting the height of the x-axis components to be consistent, tighten the synchronous pulleys. This step is crucial. Secure the lead screw mounting plate to the brass pillars using M58 screws. Plug in and secure both ends of the extension cable for the Z motor. Also, reconnect any previously disconnected wires to their respective places. After tightening the two support rods together, mount them on the upper bracket using M518 screws and M5 nuts. Secure them on the lower profile using M5 screws and M5T nuts.
tighten the four flange nuts on the struts. 